Good morning. Today our theme is developing professional competence in teaching the languages. So let's continue with our video. Language teaching competence. What for language teaching competence? Did you know? There are some information about the teaching and the learning. Read these information and interviews. Orientation of a subject. Orientation languages. Professional development. Reflection and self-assessment. I have explained you about this. Use your questions. Language and cultural competencies and learning. Next one. Individual needs and the last one is problem dual and the for cultural development. And there are this for this information and let's continue with the next page. Sales management assistant. What is sales management assistant? So Sales management assistant includes the following leader, problem solver, teacher should be as a leader, as a problem solver, coach, motivator, communicator, strategist, organizer, recruiter, and expert. As you know, they are all the important in our teaching and learning methods. Let's continue with the next page. And the meaning, you know, the meaning of this word is leader should lead the class and the students in order to give them information and to teach them something from the world. And problem solver, as you know, what does it mean? If the students can find some difficulties in teaching, in learning something, uh, teachers uh, should help them to solve these kind of problems in teaching and the learning. And the first thing you know, motivating, uh, as I mentioned before, teachers should motivate, or students also may motivate each other in order to learn new information. Communicator and uh, teachers should communicate with the learner. In this way, it will be more easier to learn new information if there is a communication with, uh, between them. Strategies. Before learning something, you know the strategy of speaking or reading or listening or all of them. That's why teachers also should be as a strategist. Organizer. Everybody who wants to learn some new information, they should organize their time or place, how to learn, where to learn, and what should they learn. And the future and expert, you know, the meanings of these words. Let's continue with the next page. Linguistic competence. They are related with each other, implicit knowledge, the consequences, explicit knowledge, and explicit instruction. Read this information. Discourse competence. What are they? Social cultural competence, linguistic competence, strategy competence, and actual competence. And what is social cultural competence? It means if you are learning, if you are or of, if you are going to learn, or if you are learning some uh, any foreign language, you have to learn their culture also. Uh, you uh, may introduce their culture and tradition. It will help you uh, to learn this new language uh, by learning their, or by introducing their culture and tradition. It will be more easier to learn this language. Linguistic competence, what is it? Linguistic, the meaning of this word is language. Strategic competence, as I mentioned before, it means the way of learning. Strategy, it means the way of learning something. So, you should know strategy of learning, reading, or speaking, or listening. Before learning something, you should uh, introduce the strategy. Actional competence, what is this? 
It means you should be active or you should move, or you should do something uh, in when you plan to learn some uh, any new language. So let's continue with the next page. The dumb processing and the bottom up processing. Written and spoken discourse. First, pragmatic. What is the meaning of this word? Pragmatic, it means meaningful learning. So the meaning of the word is meaning of the word. When you learn some new word, whatever you or something new, you should uh, know about the meaning of the word. What is it? What does it mean? Phonology, you know about the phonetic. Vocabulary, it's the best way, it's the very essential which you should know. If you plan to learn any foreign language, firstly, you should improve your vocabulary. And if you have, uh, if you have more vocabulary, if you are not a lack of vocabulary, you can improve your other skills, such as listening, speaking, reading, writing, and grammar also. Ah, yeah. Next is grammar. Each language has their own grammar rules. First, you should know vocabulary. Next, it's my opinion, you should know grammar. It's absolutely essential to learn grammar rules in order to learn new language. If you want to learn writing, writing essay, uh, take a, uh, take, uh, let's take as an example, if you plan to improve your writing skills, first you should know vocabulary and grammar, how to use sentence or the word order and how to put them in good order, you should know grammar also. So let's continue with the next page. CLT in practice, what does it mean? Linguistic competence. They are higher bilingual by cultural staff, open multilingual telecommunication system, preface to readers, grant letter of enrollment and education materials with focus groups, require the use of qualified interpreters, use varied approach to communicate with individuals who experience cognitive disabilities and all the includes the linguistic competence. Okay, let's continue with the next communicative competence. Good skill and the voice based radio, gestural, pragmatic, pragmatic discourses, social cultural competence, as I mentioned before. It's uh, to know about the culture and traditions of the uh, people, uh, which language they are learning. Referential, social linguistic, linguistic, rhetorical, and strategic competence. I have already explained about them the meaning of the first day. And there is also about competence information. Attitude skills and knowledge. Well, what is attitude? Attitude relates to qualitative aspects, personal characteristics or traits. And what is the difference among them between attitude and skills? Skills is related to the ability to do physical something. And what is knowledge? Knowledge relates to information cognitive domain. So next one, power competence model, power competence. There are some 